one of the things I'm most excited for for the Black Clover mobile game are the summon animations because one of the devs that worked on Grand Cross is working on this one and Grand Cross has some pretty nice ones especially compared to other ones and for a 3D game I couldn't be more excited compared to Phantom Knights. So in this video I'm just going to show some things that we got from the trailer, from Phantom Knights and from Grand Cross so we can make connections from these three games, right? Now, I talked about it before in my uh, Everything We Know So Far video, but I saw Blade's video and I thought me making it would be nice. His video is linked in the description if you want to hear what he have to, had to say. I didn't want to listen to his video because I didn't want it to influence me, but still, you should go listen to his video, right? Now, let's start off with the first part that gives me some Phantom Knights vibes. So you get this gr Grimoire. Now, it goes like gold, then you get Noel, right? Then the grimoire, grimoire opens, and there's the character. Now, in Phantom Knights, basically, this is my summons from one of the banners. Now, basically, that's the beginning. Honestly, if they did this game like that, I wouldn't mind too much. You know, simple, they could work on other stuff. But I would like a more sophisticated one, I'll show you later. So you get the different books, you get a rainbow one, you get a well, gold and silver. So the rainbow is a 5 star, right, in this game. Now the 5 star then goes into just like some cutscene that's really nice. So the books open one by one, then silver 3 star, gold 4 star, then it's a rainbow. So if it's a new one, you get like a quote, but if not, you just get the unit, right? So that's pretty much it. Now let's just go back and it's gold, so I don't know if maybe they just put whatever, but I don't know, like an R, a rare would have probably been silver if that is the summon animation but you know just a little thing that i saw that might be like hinting to how the summon animations would look now in the second okay so basically th this currency looks like a black jewel right now in the phantom knights game it's a bit hard to see but this thing it's horrible quality let's okay there this jewel is uh called a black jewel right so i think that they Definitely took some stuff from this game, which makes sense, you know, why not take the stuff that was good from the game, which isn't much, but, you know, why not? So, let's actually get onto the summon animation. Real quick, go follow my graphic designing Twitter. Images should be on the screen. Prices are on my Twitter if you need anything like thumbnails, layouts, banners, or profile pics. I just should post about Genshin and other gacha games, anything I really want. So yeah, go follow from what I think it would be and related back to Grand Cross okay so okay let me put it on one time speed my bad so we're gonna let it go now this could be okay let me just pause this could be just like a guild boss of sorts but just because of this animation right here I don't really think so so basically it just shows this guy now it shows Asta but it's like a cutscene I don't know if you're really gonna fight that so take this with a grain of salt but it could be what the summon animation is so he like attacks but then he deflects okay now then Asta goes in which I don't really think this Asta would be fighting that yet at least and usually it, like it just nothing really correlates now he goes into Black Asta, Black Asta which you know doesn't really make sense then he hits and bop he's done okay now, let's go to Grand Cross real quick. So, there's this big guy that, you know, Meliodas would probably fight. But, you know, like, it uh, does remind me a lot of the Black Clover one, right? It's really similar in my eyes, right? So, I feel like they could definitely have something like that. And maybe, like, one of the summon animations is, like, narrow right next to him, right? So, like, that guarantees, I don't know, like, in Grand Cross, it guarantees a um, Meliodas or a Liz. In here, it could guarantee like an Asta, right? Or like one of like a narrow unit herself. Because you never know. That, that, that could definitely be. Um, I could also see like him not deflecting it. And then like we don't get an SSR, you know, if he doesn't deflect that. And then if he goes into Black Asta, it guarantees you one. Or like deflecting it just guarantees you an SR. And then if he goes into Black Asta, it's a guaranteed SSR. And the SSR that we know of right now is Julius and Mars. Those are the two that are apparent to us from the video. So I think that's definitely probably some an animation. First time I saw it, yep. It just made sense. I mentioned it in my other video if you want to go check that out. Uh, I'm going to have another video coming up after this about, hint hint, th this screen right here. Okay, that's all I'll say. Now they do give us some card arts I just want to show. So like this one is nice. Uh, 
Where is the, uh, there's another one. Yes, so the Yami one is also really sick. Then the Asta one was over here. Uh, a bit further, I think. Here it is. Like, look at the, the art's so good. Now, going back to the Black Jewels, I actually want to talk about that a bit more. Uh, let's see. Where was it? Black Jewels. There's so much in this trailer to unpack still. Uh, okay, so Black Jewels, 300. 300 could, I feel like, they have to put up that number for a reason. I feel like the 300 could be just like a single or a multi, but I think 30 for one is a bit weird. I don't know, I just don't really get that. So I feel like 300 for one would make more sense. So a multi would therefore be 3000. I know there's a game that has that system. I just, I really don't remember right now. So if I do, I'm gonna put it in the uh, editing, right? Cause I, I feel like there is a game like that that's 300 for one single, then 3000 for a multi, but I don't remember what. Cause I know Grand Cross is uh, 3 then 30. I really don't remember what the hell. So I feel like I went over everything really. I can't really talk about much more. Like we got the summon animations then. This could be like their Black Asta animation if they go lost there. What is it? Just like the demon. Let's find it. And like maybe if Yuno pops in or something. If Julius rewinds time like Whis, you know. Some shit like that. You never know. Now this game, honestly, their summon system is really good. Uh, seventh multi, you get the guaranteed unit. Just you didn't get enough gems to really uh, constitute it, right? Because you need three copies to get it to six star. And if it's not six star, it's kind of useless. Even though like the only content in the game wasn't that hard. Uh, over time, it got a bit harder, so you did need six stars. Five stars didn't get you the full length of through the like Phantom Tower, basically. That's the best way I could explain it. Now, I, that's pretty much it. Summon animations, I definitely think that this could be like you summoning the unit and like that's what it shows compared to like um, Phantom Knights. So like it just opens it and if it's a new unit, you get like a cutscene like you did over there. But if it's not a new unit, obviously you just skip by it. Right now, if they do go the route of just uh, doing it like the beginning and it's just this thing where they like summon in the 10 books, I think that could be another thing that it could do for sure. I don't think that uh, there's much else that they could do. I think those are the two options I would like. But personally, I would like him fighting that big demon. I forgot the name, really. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, just... You know what I'm talking about, okay? So except for that, yep. Yeah, I think I'm done now. So see you guys in the next one. I'll have some more videos real soon. So see you guys. Peace.